Over 57,000 homes are still without power after a storm battered Britain. Engineers restored supplies to 100,000 homes overnight after heavy rainfall and winds of more than 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour, hit parts of the country. Four people are known to have have died in the storm which brought major rail and road disruption to commuters in southern Britain on Monday. Network Rail said almost all of the damage caused by the storm has been repaired and 99% of lines are open. Bethany Freeman, 17, suffered fatal injuries when a tree came down on the carry van she was sleeping in in Hever, near Eden Bridge, Kent, at about 7.20 GMT. Donna Drowan, 51, from Harrow, was pronounced dead at the scene after a tree crushed a red Peugeot 307 at Lower High Street in Watford, Hertfordshire at 6.50 GMT, and a man and woman died in West London following a suspected gas explosion after a tree fell during high winds in Hounslow. The Energy Networks Association said more than 660,000 homes in total had lost supply during the storm. Some 48,000 properties in the east and 9,600 in the southeast still have no electricity. Spokesman Tim Fields said challenging weather conditions and difficulty in gaining access to sites due to fallen trees had hampered the engineers' work. They've often had to clear roads to get to some of the more remote and rural areas where networks, infrastructure is in place and has been damaged, he said. Network Rail said the damage to infrastructure had been worse than expected with 500 engineers removing more than 200 trees from lines and repairing several miles of overhead power lines. Train operators, who cancelled hundreds of services on Monday, had resumed normal services with some delays, although Anglia, where the storm hit last, still has some routes to reopen. Ferry crossings and flights were also affected as the storm moved across the UK. The Environment Agency had dozens of flood warnings in place on Monday in areas of southwest England, East Anglia and the Midlands where flooding was expected, but there are no longer any in place. Initial estimates of the level of financial damage caused by the storm are not expected until later this week, the Association of British Insurers said. BBC weather forecasters said in more populous areas including Lynham, near Swindon, Yeovilton in Somerset and Hearn, near Bournemouth, speeds of 74 to 75 miles per hour. 119 to 121 kilometers per hour had been recorded. The strongest gust of 99 miles per hour during the storm was recorded at Needles Old Battery, Isle of Wight, at 5 o'clock GMT. Wind speeds of 115 miles per hour were recorded during the so-called Great Storm of October 1987. Eight people died as the storm swept through France. Germany and the Netherlands after it moved out of the UK shortly after 12 o'clock GMT. The search for the 14-year-old boy, who has been named as Dylan Elkins, who was swept away in New Haven, East Sussex on Sunday is continuing.